But one thing I did learn from George and me, one that was a new member class, is we met in my office, talked about the differences between the Methodists and the Lutherans, <laughs> that he had a deep faith in his Lord Jesus Christ. And I'd like to share with you a reading that I know is special to George, and it's from John chapter 11. And the context is Jesus is talking to a woman, uh, actually two women, who had just lost their brother Lazarus. And they were grieving. And it goes in like this. On his arrival, Jesus found that Lazarus had already been in the tomb for four days. Now Bethany was less than two miles from Jerusalem, and many Jews had come to Martha and Mary to comfort them in the loss of their brother. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went out to meet him, but Mary stayed at home. Lord, Martha said to Jesus, if you've been here, my brother would not have died. But I know that even now God will give you whatever you ask. Jesus said to her, your brother will rise again. Martha answered, I know he will rise again in the resurrection at the last day. And Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live even though they die. The one who lives by believing in me will never die. Do you believe this? And George didn't believe this. And it makes all the difference in the world. One of the things that Jesus is reminding us is that death is not the end of the story. We're going to see George again and all those who have gone before us because of the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ for us and for our salvation. It's tough right now because it's a temporary party, but the key is it's temporary. And we're going to be reunited because of Jesus Christ. That is something that George believed. That's what gave him comfort. That's what gives us comfort. And we look forward to that day that we join him and all those who come before us and celebrate life abundantly because of Christ our Lord. And so I know in a little while we're going to be having our margarita and we're going to be toasting George. But more than that, we're going to be toasting George's Savior, Jesus Christ. And I pray that you will experience the peace that comes because he is here for us even as he was always there for George. So let us pray. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we thank you for your incredible love for us and your Son, Jesus Christ, who died and rose again for George and for the rest of us, so that we can have the gift of eternal life. We pray, Lord, that you will allow that truth to sink deep into our hearts, giving us a peace that passes human understanding, especially in the midst of our grief. And we pray, Lord, that you'll bless the food that's being prepared and the hands that prepare it. May this be a celebration of George's life. Most of all, may it be a celebration of who George is because of Christ, and that is a forgiven child of God who is living right now and waiting for us to join him in eternity. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen.